so uh, I got the tractor uncovered and so this little connection here was on the other one so if you can see the, the rusty edges on this thing this is where the um, right there and right there that's where the uh, back of the um, the loader mounts to uh, whether or not that is factory from Johnson don't know uh, but I definitely know that these pipes are not factory because they're kind of hokey <laughs> let's put it that for lack of a better term maybe they are real hey someone pipe chime in and say hey yeah they are factory but they're kind of just weird you know, they look so what it does is um, see these you have these pieces of bar on there that that it may have been for something else it's just it just seems like it's very flimsy um, but these go back on the back axle of the tractor and then there's uh, plates that come from the opposite side which have the same uh, two like you know uh, raised portions to basically to lock lock around the uh, round axle so you bolt that on and then those sides get bolted up to the frame and then the frame of the loader rests on top of that so um, I haven't ever sized it up to this unit hopefully it lines up properly from side to side um, the way things are going probably won't but I haven't measured it yet so hopefully it will and uh, hopefully it just goes up quick so let's find out so I might there is uh, some I don't know what they're for I don't know if they're for plow or from mower deck but um, some anchors that are on the side of the machine I'll show you real quick uh, right there you can see right there I gotta see if those fit so let me uh, maybe move the camera and we'll try this out So it looks like the it's good. It looks like the frame is the same width. So now I'm just gonna see if this this up. So I'm gonna have to move these braces, get these off in order to uh, get this frame up. So let me get let me get the tools and uh, take that off. All right. So I got the uh, the other attachment off. Um, don't know what it was for. It might have been for the deck. I don't know. I'm not, like I said, I'm, as you've probably seen in my videos, I don't, Sears tractors are still new to me, still, still, still learning. So anyways, um, this is the back half of the, uh, the anchor for that piece. So it's, um, this goes on the back side of the axle to bolt it. Um, so if you look at it, um, doesn't look like it's factory but I could be wrong but uh, if it is it is if not I'm sure someone will let me know so let's see if we can get this on This is gonna fit going off the uh, the original axles. Uh, yeah, these bolts are not gonna fit. Shit! I don't even know if this whole thing's gonna fit. tractor over it's uh hitting the uh, ramp over there all right so i uh got it on actually 
was a little worried for a minute there. I thought um, it wasn't going to fit in the back. Uh, I thought the uh, I thought the axle on this was just going to be too diameter up. It was going to be too big in comparison to the uh, seven custom seven that was on. So um, you know, it fits good. Fits you know, hopefully just like the other one. So uh, what I need to do now is I think I'm just going to um, instead of drilling it, I think I might just weld it to the edge there and. Uh, and then eventually drill it. I'll just tack weld it real quick um, just to hold it in place um, while I, uh, you know, just fit everything and then just go back in and then drill and mount it correctly later. So um, it'll be, give me an excuse to just use, <laughs> use the welder too. So. All right, just needed to, uh, like I said, just tack it so it doesn't roll over. Um, you know, never claimed to be a welder, and I am an absolute horrible welder, so uh, it's good enough for me, though. I'll uh, later on, I'll clean it up, and uh, once this thing's, you know, I feel comfortable with it, then I'll start drilling holes in the uh, chassis. So let me uh, roll this over to the um, loader and try to fit it up. 